And now that three firefighters have been killed in a fire at a vacant home. City officials say it's time to do something about the thousands of other vacants all over the city. Yeah, Mayor Brandon Scott says that vacant homes are now a top priority, so his top officials will be talking about the issue over the next 30 days. WMAR 2 News Mark Roper is live at the Inner Harbor for us this morning. So, Mark, what has the mayor said so far about what's going to be happening with all those vacant homes? Good morning, Megan and Christian. Well, out of the 15,000 plus vacant homes in the city, more than 13,000 of them are privately owned. So the mayor wants to take more of the vacant property owners to court and also increase the number of vacant properties put into receivership. Monday, January 24th, a fire at a vacant home on South Stricker Street in South Baltimore claimed the lives of three Baltimore City firefighters and injured a fourth. In the wake of that fire, city officials are addressing the problem of vacant homes, a nuisance problem which many people in several neighborhoods across the city have complained about for years. Vacant buildings often pose a threat to people in the community because they not only become breeding grounds for criminal activity and fires, but they also decrease the property value of the other homes surrounding them. And you can see just how extensive the problem is on this map of vacant building notices considered open by the Baltimore City Department of Housing and Community Development. Each white box on the map represents one vacant building, and there are more than 15,000 open vacancy notices across the city, many clustered on the same blocks. You can see on this map how these homes are clustered in areas that have lower median household incomes. Mayor Scott says in the next few weeks the city will announce the amount of some of the American Rescue Plan funds that will be used to help reduce the number of vacant homes in Baltimore. I am issuing the following directive to all and I do mean all members of my administration within the next 30 days uh, provide a full accounting of every Every effort that city departments and agencies are already engaged in to reduce the number of vacants, I am also tasking them to be innovative and provide ideas for what more their respective agency can do to reduce the number of vacants in the city. Now the mayor believes that his plan will not only improve neighborhood development, but also create clean and safe communities. Live at the Inner Harbor, Mark Roper, WMER 2 News.